got my undergrad in petroleum engineering and then later got my MBA. That path has served me well. Having that technical foundation as a base has allowed me to enter other facets of the business. And since finishing my MBA, I've transitioned to a role in finance. In my finance role, I draw upon my technical background quite often. It helps me to evaluate deals that we're looking at and to talk with our banks, both the banking side and the engineering side. I'm able to cross over from the engineering side to the business side, given my background. On a day-to-day -day basis, I interact with people across the spectrum, from engineers and geologists, to our executive team, to our bank group outside the company. The energy industry is divided into several segments. Petroleum engineering is most concerned with the upstream segment. The upstream segment involves essentially three different aspects. The first is looking for and finding the oil and gas beneath the surface of the ground. That is essentially a reservoir engineer's job. The second aspect of petroleum engineering is figuring out how to get to that oil and gas. Sometimes it can be miles beneath the surface of the ground, and so drilling engineers are responsible for drilling a hole that may be six inches or a foot in diameter all the way down miles beneath the surface of the earth. The third aspect of petroleum engineering is called operations or production engineering. That involves then figuring out how to get the oil and gas from the well bore that's been drilled to the surface so we can sell it and use it as energy. I've heard it said that someone can't easily transition into becoming an engineer if their background is just in business, but having that engineering foundation has proved invaluable for me.